Hey folks, this is Cinder, Cinder Gaming, getting ready to do another video, a different kind of video today. We are actually going to be doing a little project with my kiddos. Uh, we have here today with us our, my boy, Hi. we have my, one of my girls, <laughs> and then my other girl with her little creeper. Today, what we are going to be doing is a project uh, from National Geographic System uh, for the STEM, the Crystal Lab. Uh, sorry, it's a little backwards there, but yeah, we're going to be growing some uh, amazing crystals. And so this does take a few days for it to actually go through. And what we're going to show you is the process of making it. And then, of course, we're going to uh, do a kind of like a little update on it throughout and then edit all that together and put it all together in one big video and just kind of show you all the process uh be able to do this of course you need the set um set comes with some uh crystal growing powder yeah it does come with a seed rock right there and so what you'll need a spice that you'll need to provide is something to stir with so uh in this case, I'm going to use a little wooden popsicle stick. You'll need a bowl to mix everything together in. And then you'll need some kind of clear glass container to actually put it all in so that it can grow. And then you'll need a one cup measuring cup. And then you'll need boiling water, uh, which I currently have on the stove. So once that gets up and boiling, we'll get going on this and then show you all how all this works all right so we got our boiling water um so what i did is i used my tea kettle to actually boil the water here mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're going to measure out the book says to use one full cup i do want kind of bigger crystals so we're going to probably measure out slightly more than one full cup here Put the tea kettle down. Now remember, guys, this is very, very hot, so you gotta be very, very careful. Okay. Right. More, yeah. more, more. All right, so we got the water in there. We're gonna add just a dash more water. And then we will get to mixing. All right, and so now what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to pour in the powder. Uh, the powder, you cannot get it in your uh, hands, your nose, or your mouth. And keep stirring, Daniel. Keep going, keep going. Gotta keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. Mm -hmm. We gotta try to get all of this dissolved into the system, okay? Mm -hmm. Into the water. More in. Keep going. David, get the camera up and over the bowl, please. There you go. See, gotta do it like this. See how I'm doing it? Mm -hmm. See how I'm mixing it? Not slowly. We're not mixing it slowly. We're just getting it all. We might even end up using this whole thing. we do that? You're gonna put the seed rock in. Uh huh. This is great, uh -huh. Okay. So now, as you can see, we got it all nice and dissolved in there. You should have some powder left on the bottom, and that's fine because when we go to pour it in, when we go to pour it into our glass here, that is going to stay on the bottom of the bowl. We're gonna. Pour it in very, very, very carefully. Put a rock in there. In just a second. Okay. Right. Over the glass. There you go. Okay. Now, very carefully, because this is very, very hot, we are going to pour it into our big vase here. Mm 
That sounds like a toilet. <laughs> now, as you can see, you should still have plenty of stuff left on the bottom there. Can I see? Wait, can see? Like that. Can I and see? that is okay. Can I see? That, that means that the water is fully saturated the way that we want the water to be saturated. We need this. Okay. Those are hard. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you the whole it? package is gone. You see all that powder that got left? I already saw it. Yeah. And I just want to see it. So, there we go. What? Now, we do have to let this set for uh, 15 minutes. And then and we can put our seed rock in. And we are back. So it's now been 15 minutes. Here you go, Danielle. Hold the phone. And we are now going to put the rock into the glass, our little seed rock. And that's going to go float to the bottom there, and that's going to help our crystal grow. So what we have here is our seed rock. And so I'll open it up. It smells. Give me it. Just like that. Mm -hmm. It smells like peppermint, though. Or drop you got to be have the phone shown there. Dara, you should drop it. Drop it. Oh, it flipped over. Where's our stick? We need to find a stick or a pencil. Let me fry. No, I got it. Maybe. Oh my god. So we get that over. Oh my god. Kind of in the center there. He did there. it. He did it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take some tape and we're going to cover mm -hmm. up the top. the top for mm -hmm. 24 hours. We have to take the tape off after 24 hours. Okay. But apparently covering the top helps keep the evaporation down to a minimum for the first 24 hours which helps everything grow. Now, you can do something like this on your own at home without this kit. What you'll need is a lot of uh, table salt. Um, and you boil about one cup of water. And you super saturate the salt into the water which is basically what we did here. And you basically do the same thing. Um, you can use sugar, you can use salt, you can use anything that usually has crystalline structure. And so there we go. And we'll check back in on this tomorrow. After the 24 hours have passed, uh, it may take a couple of days for us to actually see anything grow, but we will see stuff grow. And in the meantime, if you're doing this with your kiddos, or you know you get your parents to do that, the advantage to having this kit is that it does come with the already uh, pre-grown kind of crystalline structure and a magnifying glass so that you, the kiddos. So that way the kiddos can actually kind of explore and see crystals. And we're back. It's been 24 hours now. Probably over 24 hours. Not really seeing a lot in the way of growth, but I do see a little bit in there starting to grow on the seed there. Kind of over there at the bottom. See some little white specks starting to grow. And the other thing that we're going to be doing today, because we we're only supposed to leave this on here for one day, is we're going to be taking this tape off. And so, you know, in future videos, of course, we're not going to see the tape on there at all. So, we'll be back in another 24 hours. And we are back. It's been another 24 hours, and as you can see, we've got some nice little crystal growth going on in there already. Um... Unfortunately, the vase is kind of fogged up with fingerprints, so it's kind of hard to really see in there. But that should be a good angle right there. Got some really good crystal growth going. And, of course, they're just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And we'll be back in about 24 hours to uh, do another status update.
and we are back it's been about another 24 hours and as you can see the crystals are actually going pretty good um let's see so we can get a better angle here how big are those dara yeah are those getting big yes yeah they are those are getting so big and we're getting what do you mean, touch it? no we can't touch it uh, we're getting, getting some growth along the top up there too, which is a little unexpected. And getting some decent growth from that angle as well. But yeah, we'll be back in about 24 hours to take another gander at it. And we are back. It's been a little over 24 hours. Uh, since the last video as you can see the crystals along the edges are growing um, that was a little unplanned for but look at that I mean that is just growing fairly big and you can definitely see the crystal shapes in there and just all the different you can see that one, that one actually looks really big. As we kind of spin it around there. We definitely got some definitive crystal shapes in here. What do you think, Dara? Awesome. Yeah? Can you see all the different crystals? Yes. Yeah? You think they're going to keep getting bigger or do you think it stopped growing? It did stop growing. You think it stopped growing? You don't think they're going to get bigger? No, stop growing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back uh, with about 24 hours later with another video of the crystals here for a quick little update. As we can see, they've actually started growing quite a bit more. On the glass. Uh, it started growing up on the glass as well. Yeah. Um, which is a little unexpected, but it is what it is. And they are getting pretty big. And you can see it like right there on the glass. And then you see there, and then of course all the way up on the side of the glass there. We've got some pretty big chunks coming off. Like right there. Nice little big yum, chunk there. Yum, yum. And then even more on the glass there. So overall going well. We'll see you all again in about 24 hours. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Doing another little update here just so we can kind of see how it's going. And if you look at the side of the vase, I mean, look at how big that the crystal is just growing up the side of the vase here. I mean... It's kind of got a really cool pattern. Um, just the way that the crystals are going. I mean, look at that. I should take some shavings of this. Put it under a microscope if I had one. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. Then look down into the water here. You can see all those crystals just kind of growing and getting bigger. I mean, this is looking pretty dang awesome, if I don't say so myself. What do you guys think? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Amazing. So awesome. All right. We are back with another update here. Let's take a look. Crystal is like really like growing out all over the glass i'm oh, not sure why not. um did that when i did this with the salt one too um crystals are actually looking a lot bigger than they were 24 hours ago and definitely see some definition in there that's a pretty big one there you think they're getting pretty big there dara yes yeah what do you think david yeah, yeah. That is a big one. It is. And right. that one. 
Yeah. Right at the back. All right, and we'll see y'all in 24 hours. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I do apologize. I meant to get an update on this yesterday, but I got busy with other stuff. As we can see, Crystal is actually doing very, very nicely. Definitely see definite formations there. And then, of course, all of the stuff along the side there. Let's take a look at it from... And as you can see, it's starting to get really big. And growing by a large amount there. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to get it out through the top up there. And with how big it's getting. What I find really strange is how, just how much it's growing along the sides. <clears throat> Normally, I've never had that happen with any kind of uh, like the salt crystal experiment or the sugar crystal experiment. But it's kind of weird. But an interesting result nonetheless. And it's definite crystal formations up here, almost like snow. Is basically what I'd say it looks like. Snow or ice along the, the edges up here. But this course has been at room temperature. So we'll do a final update here tomorrow. And I think that's when we're going to pull it out. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the final update on our crystal experiment here. Um, as you can see, it turned out really well just with how it all grew and everything else. Um, I do apologize for the quality of the video. Uh, it is off my uh, phone, the Note 10. So while it's in high definition, uh, unfortunately, sometimes it blurs out just a little bit. But as you can see, the crystal turned out really, really well. Um, very interesting formation there. And just, it turned out amazing. So, like I said, um, at the beginning of the video, I gave you the, the kit and everything else that was used with it. Um, feel free to pick that up. Leave it down below in the comments how it turned out for you all. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and give me a subscribe. And have an absolutely wonderful day.